Now, moving on to other news, U.S. investors in the Vayeme Rice Project are demanding 10 million U.S. dollars for compensation from government of Ghana over how the company collapsed three years ago. They say they will sue government to recover the amount soon. The equipment continued to rust at the factory site following the collapse, which has led to several young people losing their jobs. Joseph Opokugapo visited the facility. The company was revived in 2007 following long years of dormancy after it first collapsed as Quality Grains Company. At the height of its operations, the Prayer Volta Limited, known popularly as the Aveime Rice Factory, employed more than 300 people on its farms and rice milling sites. The company produced almost 9,000 tons of paddy rice a year, which it sold under the brand name Volta Rice with jasmine perfumed and syrup varieties. But Proud Texas says government refusal to take responsibility for worn-out equipment made it impossible for them to attract fresh investment. The company closed down eventually in 2015. Heavy-duty machinery used on the farms are all sitting down idle. Irrigation pumps, equipment for planting, harvesting, the husking and polishing of rice are all deteriorating. Planting and plowing tools as well as an aircraft that was used for spraying have all been left without use. The 3,000 metric ton storage tank for rice is rusting away. They're rusting because you've not been using it for a long period of time. If you are continuously using it, it will not be rusting like this because there's a constant heat that is going to the system. So the oxygen does not attach the metal to, to create alcohol, to react with it. Inside the processing facility are world class equipment left to rot. The 720 hectares of irrigated land on which rice was grown is all bushy now. The water pumps have been left at the mercy of the weather. The residents lament collapse of the company has left them without jobs. When the rice factory was operating here, we got some of the rice for our own consumption. Now, even what to eat is a problem. Ghana spent more than $400 million importing rice annually, and a revamp of this factory could probably help reduce the loss of foreign exchange. For Joy News, Joseph Opokugapo, Aveime Bato. Executive Director of Prior Texas Incorporated, John Van Dyke Menson, says government deceived them when they valued assets taking over from Quality Grain Company at $8 million US dollars instead of $1 million and kept it on their books as loan. He says this made it impossible for them to attract additional investments and they will take legal action against government over the issue. It's all because of failed government promises and deceptions starting from the word go, uh, the assets that the government br brought in were way overvalued and it has been the biggest problem for us. Uh, various attempts to try to revalue the assets to bring it to its realistic market value to reflect on our balance sheet have failed. So at this point in time we've decided that the best thing to uh, resolve this issue would be to file a suit against the government. One, you know, to let the truth come out, but also hopefully we will be able to uh, recoup our investment. We're going to sue the government for $10 million. The Aveime project is so viable. We have all the ingredients to get, the, get, get this project back on track. I remember last, our last meeting with the NDC, uh, Minister of Agriculture, Lumina, and I said, look, if you give us three months at that time and we have all the equipment, we will be able to replant almost the whole uh, 720 hectares in about four months' time. The longer we wait, the land guests, you know, and our irrigation canals, you know, uh, deteriorates more and then it becomes more costly and more difficult to get this project back on track. But yes, it's a viable project. You know, given the choice, that's what we would like to do, get this project back on track.